Here with three-time Stanley Cup champion and a winner with the 2011 Bruins as well, Mark Recchi, to be introduced and to be honored tonight in the tradition here in Boston. What did it mean to you to receive that honor? Uh, it's an incredible honor. I mean, I never expected anything like this. And, and you know, obviously I had an incredible two, two and a half years here and, and um, you know, retired a Boston Bruin. And, and it's just something very special and uh, incredible honor. Now, you've played 22 years in the NHL, multiple cities, won three different cups with three different teams, but what made Boston stand out to you as a hockey city? Well, you know what? The, the sports fans here, and I mean, you know, you get most cities have great sports fans, but this is, Boston just goes to another level with, uh, you know, how amazing they are, uh, you know, with all their sports teams here, and then you can just see it, when, you know, just the passion and the fire that they have for their teams here in, in Boston, and that's incredible, and, you know, it's just something that, you know, you just... You know, you see in some cities, but this is just uh, something incredible. So. And as someone that grew up in Canada, did you ever imagine you'd be playing for the Bruins? And what's it like whenever you look back on those times? Yeah, you know what? I, I was... I, there was a couple of times I was free agents. I say, is Boston interested? And I kept, you know, just, and, you know, my agent's like, no. I'm like, oh, damn, you know. But it actually worked out great. Uh, at the end, um, you know, I talked to Rick Tockett uh, before I got traded from Tampa to here, and I said, man, I hope it's Boston. And, and uh, you know, I was really, you know, excited about the op opportunity. I played in one original six, obviously, but to come here and finish my career in the original six team of Boston with the sports fans here, it's it was pretty cool. I don't want to gloss over 22 years in the NHL. Yeah. When you look back on it, what was the secret to sustaining good play, elite play that long, and also have such a long career and so successful as well? well. Good red wine, I was said, but no. <laughs> um, obviously, you got to keep yourself in, in great shape. you got to avoid... You know, you got to avoid those major injuries, and I was very fortunate to do that. And and uh, you know, you got to keep yourself fit and, and ready, and and understand you know the game and, and what I need to do to be ready to play every season.